because each time it's been a different situation. Okay, it says it's setting it up, so I believe we're going to be good. Okay, we are live. Hey, Laura, how you doing? TGIF. I know, TGIF to everybody. You know what? I was sitting there thinking today and kind of laughing to myself. You know, Debbie and I have been doing this for almost a year now, and it is so exciting for us to prepare for this as well as do this. But I was kind of laughing. Do you remember when you were in high school in your English class and you had to do that uh, research paper and do your uh, your stand up uh, presentation of your research paper or your, your first talk? Well, I was laughing because I'm like, this is how it is for us every week. It's like we have to sit there and prepare for our first for our speech of the week. <laughs> so I thought that was a kind of a laughable thing. but. I want to tell you, we're going to talk about a great subject today, and I'm so excited because I've been thinking about this a lot this week, so but we're going to talk about the power of positive thinking, and Debbie has got a lot of great highlights and has experience with this, so I'm going to hand it off to her. But please, everybody, you know, get anybody in, in, in your room or you're at at work bring them to the computer or tell them to get on here because it's a great subject today. We all need this right now. All right, Deb, go ahead. Deb, Thanks, you. Laura. Hey, I'm going to hit a few things, but Lori, let's bounce back and forth because I think we can kind of like do yeah. a tag team here. I think this is amazing. You know, first of all, um, you know, positive mental attitude is, is, is something that you have to sometimes practice. Okay. Like you can't, some people have it naturally. Some people don't, and you got to get the stinking thinking out of your head. Like you got to get that, like really like bad thoughts and, and not, and it's the glass half full, not the glass half empty. And the, and you know, we all know who those people are. We know how those people can be in our life. And, you know, another thing is, is that when we have those people around us, we have to learn how to channel our positiveness back into ourselves to not to, to not get sucked into their negativity okay mm -hmm. and so wow. positive thoughts are something that are going to be not only good for you but also good for your health and Lori and I started this with the positive look of wanting to keep things very positive on this this group and we titled it for the health and wellness of you because we felt everything that we would talk about and everybody that we would bring on this would benefit us in some way to explain what would be the best choices that we can make as people to to keep in our keep our health in a good place to keep our mind in a good place to keep our spiritual self in a good place to keep our health and fitness in our you know exercise routine in a good place and this all cycles around that there's that little voice in your head that can really play havoc and our job is to turn it off in the bad way and turn it on in the good way okay and so i think what the biggest thing we need to do is is let's find out where are these like where is this all coming from? Why are you having the bad thought or why are you having the not positive feeling that you're having? What are you going through? And what is maybe a thing that you can define by sitting down and writing down some of your feelings and figure it out, okay? And so with that, I'm turning it to Lori because Lori has got some part that she's gonna bring into this that we're gonna actually start to discuss. And then we're gonna bring some more points out and, and then some practical things that we we have you know experienced but one thing i want to say before we go any further Lori and i are just two average people right. okay we're no doctorate of the you know everything we are just saying and talking about things that we know that everyone that's listening to us experiences and we're not going to claim that we're saying that we have the magic answer but okay it through life we all learn things and we're learning from each other so just so you guys all know we learn from everyone here and everyone that we bring on and everybody that we talk to and all these wonderful beautiful suggestions that other people add on to the comments which we welcome okay so with that disclaimer being said Lori I'm turning it over to you okay so oh, thanks Deb thank you very much um well, I'm going to talk about health benefits that positive t uh, thinking can include, okay? These are some points. Increased lifespan, and that's a true fact. They have statistics on that. Lower rates of depression, okay? 
I know that's the one thing when you're going through depression and you go seek counseling, you seek doctors, as they tell you, you got to have a little bit of better attitude. So uh, greater resistance to the common cold. And that is another fact, you know, I mean, you know, you think about it, if you, if you're more positive, uh, you know, your body's not going to get run down and it's not going to get, it's, it's going to resist the common cold. Better psychological and physical well-being. Well, that's, that's another fact, you know, I mean, think about it. Think about the times when you felt really confident and more positive. Didn't you feel better inside? Didn't you feel like you weren't dragging during the day? Didn't you feel like you were more excited to do things? I know I laugh because I think about the times when we were planning our parties years ago and we got all excited about planning a party and we were, we were, our, and our minds were all on that party and how much fun we we're going to have and the excitement. We were just physically well being because we had positive thoughts about what we were going to do better cardiovascular health and reduced risk of death from cardiovascular disease. That's an important one to really look at because we're getting to, some of us are getting to that age where our hearts are not working as well as they have been. Better coping skills during hardships and times of stress. Well, we all know what we went through this last year with stress, with the COVID and everything. And if we didn't have some of the positive attitudes that we had, we wouldn't have made it through. So kudos to everybody that made it through this last year. And so with that, Debbie, I don't know if you have anything to add on to any of those points. Well, I think I love everything that you just said, because when I look at that and I, you think of everything, you know, I'm just thinking of a couple people in my mind and I, you know, I don't judge people, please don't ever think that, but I can think of people that have real good positive mental attitudes that seem to be more active, seem to be more outgoing, seem to be involved in more things, and seem to seem seem to be relatively healthy, like on a daily basis, where people who are really not that have bad attitudes, sometimes they're just not feeling good. And it might not be that they're really sick or anything like that. That's not the thing. They can almost make themselves feel like they don't feel good. Okay, so I'm going to use a perfect example. So today in Chicago, that's where Lori and I are, and we're blessed that we're talking to people on this platform that are all over. You know, we've got tons and tons of states, and we've got a couple countries. But it is a beautiful, sunshiny day, full of brightness and sun. And you know what? What does that do for you? It makes you feel good. Okay, so, but I choose to feel good because of that, right? But if it was a gloomy day outside, sometimes you can feel a little bit more down in the dumps, but I'm going to choose on those days to not feel that way. Okay. I'm going to feel like I'm going to choose to be feeling good and be positive because maybe we need that rain because that's going to help the flowers grow. Okay. So I'm going to look at it in a positive way. I'm not going to look at it in a negative way. I'm not going to go, Oh, another day with rain. Okay. I'm going to look at it like, okay, this is great. We need rain. Cause I can't wait to see my flowers grow more. Okay. So it's all in how you do things. And so I want to encourage everybody that I think that Lori and I had a conversation just before for this about do you have someone in your life that maybe you should like avoid maybe because they're dumping on you a lot or do you have to set some boundaries hey <laughs> and I'm using this hey real and nice like real listen you know what let's see if you can help channel them in a different way so that they're not dumping so much on you they're not doing things that are going to actually try to take you down don't let them do that okay try to be the example so that you can turn around and help them maybe work through their feelings and bring them to the place that they need to be to help them to alleviate alleviate what they're going through and some of those crazy things are as, as much as guiding them to a support group helping them, telling them about the best books that you've just read that might help you. Lori, Lori and I were talking about, this is so weird. This is something weird Lori and I just figured out. There's an author, and I'm going to let Lori talk about this because I think this is so cool, but I just want to say this before she says it. We both read many of his books in our younger years, okay? And so, Lori, take it away because this is hilarious, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is just amazing. Um, Norman Vincent Peale. You know, I, when I was in my early twenties, I was into all this positive thinking stuff, you know, and, um, during my life, you know, 
growing up and knowing if I'm going to get married and all that stuff. So he used to listen to all this stuff. And I love him. I used to have a cassette tape and I'd listen to it over and over again. So when I now put it on an audio book and listen to it, I was just like, all this stuff was coming back to me. And then I'm like, oh, now I know why I say this. Now I know why I say that. But it's Norman Vincent Peale. And he has many books out there. Um, the, the Power of Positive Thinking was probably from the 50s. Mm -hmm. All of them could go for today. So I suggest you look in it. But I want to bring up some other points, Debbie, if that's okay with you. Mm -hmm. Here's some positive things to get positive thoughts. Okay, I'm going to give you some stuff here. One, meditate. Take some time, maybe 15 minutes during the day, go to a quiet spot and just meditate. Don't think of anything except maybe something beautiful. Just put your mind at ease. Um, in my situation, I would think of Jesus or God, or I would just think about a beautiful place you know, that I had seen in my life and just meditate on that for 15 minutes. Uh, be thankful. That's one of the greatest things. We've talked about gratitude before, but being thankful is very important when you want to get a positive attitude because you're like saying thank you. You know, you could say thank you, God, or whoever your higher power is. And, and that always makes things, you really realize how good you have it you know, all the grateful things. Be kind. You know, being kind takes you to a happier place because it takes stress off of you, but also being kind makes you happy. You know, people will respond back to you. Have you ever gone somewhere and you smile at somebody and they smile back at you or they say hi to you? I mean, that is just amazing. And it, it makes your day go by so fast. Uh, be less stressed. Uh, is usually the soul of everything that goes wrong in your life is when you have emotional stress. Stress, like we talked about, could, could, could get, take your illnesses and make them worse. You can feel sick because you're, you have stress. Stress is just such a thing. So you got to come up with some ways to do stress. Uh, Debbie, you, I know you're great at, at handling stress. Could you give them some tips about handling stress? Yeah, you know what? Um, and I just want to go back to, I'm going to, I want to touch on that, but I want to go back for just two seconds with Norman Vincent Peale. I've read many, 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 many years ago. No, I got to tell you this. This is funny because Lori and I were talking and I said, I read that when I was a lot younger too. And I feel like that was really good. But here's the thing. I was, I was involved in some stuff that I was doing for work. And it actually was part of like a little bit of our program that we were supposed to do reading books, like leaders are readers. Okay. And so um, Thinking Grow Rich was the book Norman Vincent did heal yeah. or Peel wrote. Okay. And, um, so anyways, as, as I'm going through all this, I, I just want to say that what you just said, Lori, is so true about stress. I, what I try to do is I try to take a time out. If I feel like really stressed, I've been trying to do that more, go to a positive mental book. Or what I also like to do is I actually, you know, get on my bike and ride my bike, whether it's indoor, outdoor, do exercise, listen to a podcast, a positive mental podcast put the earbuds in and like listen to some good spiritual music or crank the spiritual music up in my house in my kitchen mm -hmm. everybody laughs at me but the minute i walk in i go alexa play then i say what i want okay and mostly it's either if i want to be in a fun route i'm like hey play 70s rock or i'm like or i'll be like play, please play christian music whatever or whatever it is and that really will put you in an uplifting mood. You know, when we were going through this whole pandemic. Our family would get in the kitchen and we would dance and laugh and do karaoke, karaoke, you know, that kind of thing. And just anything you can do just to, to get that lift off of you, you know? So, um, and I'm going to tell you guys, get away from the flipping TV that has yes. the negative. Okay. Yes. Find yourself. Okay, I'm not going to say everyone listening right now is going to be the Hallmark Channel people, but okay, if you're going to watch something, watch something positive, okay? And if you can't find something positive to watch, then don't watch the negative. It's so proven that if you're watching negative before you go to bed, that you're literally going to be thinking and just having, it's, it's just not going to go good, okay? It's just not a good thing. So I just want to let you know that, that, that those are some of those things, and also, Lori talked about putting a smile on your face and, and, and the smile that goes to the other person. 
try to say once a week, what am I going to do for someone else that's positive? Maybe you're viewing them as not being such a positive person. So do something for them. Bake a few extra cookies, you know, um, buy them a coffee, do something, do, mow their lawn or whatever, whatever you decide to do and see how they react. And maybe some of your greatness will actually then rub off on those people. A lot of times right now, everybody around us is so lonely there's people that are lonely so what they're what are they doing they're just they're just kind of like sulking in what they're doing and and they're like you know just kind of like uh should i say settling for things that they shouldn't settle for they need to get outside their comfort zone and that has to be sometimes come from the outside sources doing nothing and not being active is is the worst thing you know so with that laura i know I'm going to send it back over to you. Well, I have one last point to that, then I'm going to talk about something else. Um, talk yourself with a pep talk, you know, to, uh, that motivate yourself, to inspire yourself, to uplift yourself, put notes on your mirror in your bathroom, put a note on your door when you're walking out or some post-it notes, put it in your car, pep talk yourself too, you know, say, hey, I could do this, you know, I, I, I got this and I got this and I want to do this, this and this, but, you know, to talk to yourself. I know it sounds crazy, but, you know, we're, we're our best friend, okay? So talk to ourselves and lift ourselves up because that's what we need to stay with a positive attitude. Um, then with that, I'm so excited because I want to talk to you about something that's very dear to my heart, okay? And that is be trying to be positive when you have chronic illness, okay? And I know most of you understand that, know that I have, I live with chronic illness and we have a lot of our listeners out there and our people that um, have chronic illnesses, anywhere from lupus to MS to all kinds of stuff. And when you have these these issues, these chronic diseases, it's very hard to stay positive when you're not feeling well. And um, I was doing some research and plus some of my own thing. And, you know, the thing is you have to celebrate what you can do, you know? And I think about back when I was in Mary and Joy for five weeks, learning how to walk again. And I thought, wow, why did, how did I, I did so well there? Okay, and I did well because the people that were there working were, were getting me motivated every day. And it's not like I went from standing up to walking in, in a day, it took five weeks. But their motivation and how they were positive towards me made me want to work harder. Okay, so with that, being, making them feel positive, people with chronic illness, the people around them have to stay positive. And they, and, and this is really important. And they also have to be there to listen to the person that is going through, that's having the pain. And, you know, and then by being more positive around them, they become more positive, okay? And I, I could see it with me every day too, with situations. I was trying to do something yesterday because I'm working on this whole positive thing too. And, you know, and there's days I can't do things, but yesterday I went to the grocery store. I got so many groceries that I look like a bad lady getting on the bus. I got on the bus, I came home. And as I was coming home, walking down the street, which is hard for me to do sometimes, I was counting my steps. And in the same time, I was like saying, I could do this, I could do this. And one of my famous sayings is I could do all things through God has given me the strength. So I wanted to talk to you about that because a lot of us have parents and uh, that are at that age where they're getting old and they're getting very, very frustrated because they can't do things they used to do. So remember, to stay positive around them and taking the time to listen to them. And with that, they're gonna be more positive. Debbie, you have anything you wanna add on to that? I do, you just made me think about something, Lori. This is so incredible. Um, you, you were 
you're definitely an example of, of, of a person pers persevering through so many adversities in your life. Okay. And, and, and you're uplifting and you're just so like transparent. And I think that everybody needs to hear this. I think people need to know that whatever you're going through, that there is a way that you can get through it. My mom used to always say, if there's a will, there's a way. Okay. Yeah. All right. She used to say that. And there was a song I remember she used to sing, but, um, caregivers and people and our age bracket of having to deal with aging and older and all that you know um if you haven't seen it we we interviewed these gals a couple of weeks ago that actually have you know multiple ideas and ways to help people as they're going through different challenges but the caregiver can help encourage and lift that person out of their 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 um they're, what they're going through and I really encourage you if you chose to be in that line of work you know um or you have someone that you're you're affecting to to use it as a little ministry use that as a, a way that you can give back because you know I think to myself I'm thankful I can do certain things or whatever and maybe somebody can't do it the same or whatever and and but if I can help somebody through something and help them be better or help them get to where they need to go by encouraging them. That's part of my, my little reason for being here. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. And I think that Lori, that like, that's just what you're doing and saying you're encouraging everyone and you're helping people and talking to them. You know, we, that's, that is the whole purpose of our platform here of what we're doing, you know, putting better value into others and helping people and with that I just want to say too and and Lori and I are really getting excited because mm -hmm. it's almost been a year and you know we have a goal of having a thousand people okay we've been having people every single week there's new people that join okay and it's not like people can just join we have to approve the join or we have to invite them okay mm -hmm. so I feel like that's a little different way with the, with the way this is designed is really proof in the pudding that we're only allowing you mm -hmm. know we're not just going to have straight Strangers just come on here because we want to keep this a clean place and everything and with that when we hit 500 guys we've got this goal help us help us help us we have a gift basket that will go to we will draw a name out of all the members that are on here and you know you can and significantly help us by you know sharing to have people join so with that Laura I'm going to turn it to you wow Debbie that's great thank you we're really excited it's, I can't believe it's almost been a year I challenge each and every one of you get two friends to come on here and we'll get over 500 two friends okay two friends and um, I believe me everybody that watches us or is on our page they don't have to watch. they can watch it later it's always posted on our page or Debbie has it on her YouTube page. Um, we need to spread positive things around this country around this world i mean that's what we're here for mm -hmm. we have to drown out all the negative around us and we do that with the power of people with positive thoughts mm -hmm. and prayers so with that debbie i want to say do you have anything more to say i you know what laura i think you couldn't have said it better <laughs> oh, great thanks well we're so happy to be with you here on another friday and we look forward to seeing you next week. And don't forget, two friends. Get two more friends for each, each one of you, okay? Thank you. Have a blessed day. Bye. Bye, guys. Enjoy your weekends. Bye.